This is Mahmoud Hassan Meraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDOS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, the uh, model is in isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. So first of all, I list a drawing from the right plane. In the right plane, I will draw this uh, square and this square has a dimension of 50 in this side and in other side if we calculate all these three values it is also will give another value of 50 okay then we will extrude boss uh, as we are going to select it from the mid plane okay uh, we will going to extrude boss into both direction and we can see it has a extrude boss of 50 in it so it is a cubic after drawing this uh, we will uh, draw this semicircular portion and this semicircular portion has a radius of 25 in it then I'll list it to 50 unit. Okay. After a while that we can see we have another circular profile in here in the top plane. And this circular profile has a dimension of 12.5 radius. And then we will draw two tangent line from there. Then I will extrude boss it to 50 unit. After that portion, okay. Uh, after that portion, we'll use uh, we'll we will going to use a center line here okay and draw two offset line and this two offset line has a dimension of 26 unit okay then i'll cut through through all then we will draw this circular extra circular portion and for drawing this circular portion and uh, we will again in the top plane draw a circle of 12.5 radius then i'll draw a circle of four in through all and after that we can see we have another extrude cut portion of 12 unit then finally we can see that we have another extrude cut hole here and this extrude cut hole has a dimension of 18 diameter so this side has been done now in the other side we can see we have another rectangular cut and this rectangular cut has a dimension of 25 unit by 6 unit and it has a distance from this point to this point is 12 unit then we have same cut in the other side also for drawing the this cut i will select a mirror line and mirror this portion to here okay after that we can see we have here a circular profile and this circular profile has a dimension of 30 diameter so in the right plane i will draw a circular profile of 30 diameter then i will extrude boss it to uh, through all in both sides is 62 unit and from the circular profile i'll draw a extrude cut circle of 14 diameter then the lastly i'll draw a center line here and draw two offset line and this two offset line has a total dimension of 26 unit then i'll uh, close this shape and then extrude cut it to through all so this way we will going to draw this a uh, 3d model so i am now going to my soyros now select new sketch okay new part so first of all i am selecting the right plane from here now select right plane now right click on it now sketch then normal to it now select the uh, center rectangle from here and draw a center rectangle and this center rectangle uh, has a dimension of 50 by 50 so i am selecting this my dimension tool and select this here and dimension it to 50 12 plus 25 plus 13 units so it will result in 50 unit then again select this side and dimension it to 50 unit so as it is square so it will take only one dimension showing same dimension now press ok now i assume it take it for a better view now go to features now it should boss now it should boss it to 50 unit so we're going to it to boss it to 50 unit okay and make sure to select the mid plane now press ok so this portion has been done now again select the right plane tool from here now select right plane now sketch then normal to it now okay now we are going to draw the semicircle for that i am selecting the circle tool from here and placing the circle uh, to the midpoint and closing in this portion so now press ok now select this line okay and then select the converting piece so our this line has been drawn 
now select the trim away we don't need this this side of semicircle so we're going to trim, trim away this portion now press ok so first thing the dimension it is a radius of 25 unit you can select the smart dimension tool from here and dimension it to see it has the radius of 25 in it so it is showing over dimension because we have a uh, coincident relation here okay now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now stood boss now stood boss it to 50 unit so i will going to issue boss it to 50 unit from mid plane now press ok so what this portion has been done now we, we for drawing uh, this circle here 20, uh, the radius of 12.5 unit we can see from this point to this point it has a distance of 25 unit we haven't discussed this year, year, year earlier so make so we'll do that this way so i'm selecting the top plane from here now right click on it now sketch the normal to it okay now select the circle tool from here and place the circle uh, along this center point okay so placing this circle along this center point and now select the expand dimension tool and this has a dimension of 12.5 unit radius so 12.5 unit multiplied by 2 so the diameter will be uh, 25 unit okay now select the expand dimension tool again and select this point to this center line okay it has a distance of 20 point uh, 25 units so dimension it to 25 unit now select the line tool we need to draw uh, two offset lines so i'm selecting the one line here another line uh, when at we need to draw two tangent lines so when the when the tangent line vision is shown now press ok okay so this is our uh, this is our tangent line relation here in the same way we will select the line tool here from here and select this point and draw another tangent along along this way okay we have drawn another tangent now select the line tool from here and close this two line so we have closed this two line now press ok now select the, the trim entities and trim the necessary line that we don't need you can zoom it here and, and see there is a, a extra portion of the line of, of the tangent so you, we can trim that portion also so so this streaming portion has been done now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now it should boss now it should boss it to 50 units so we'll going to it to boss it to 50 units and uh, make sure to search for mid plane now press ok so our mid plane is to boss has a uh, stood boss has been done now we need to cut a 26 unit portion from this side so for that i'm selecting the right plane from here now right click on it now sketch then normal tweet okay now select the uh, center line and i am going to draw a center line from here okay we have drawn a center line from here now select the offset entities now select this line we need to offset from this line so as the total h record portion is 26 units so half distance will be 26 divided by 2 so it will be 13 unit make sure to select bidirectional cap in and line now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and then it should cut now is to cut it to through all so we're going to cut it to through all both now press ok now again in the same way i am going to select the top plane from here and now right click on it now sketch then normal tweet then i'm going to select the circle tool from here and place the circle to the previous circle center line and draw a circle of radius of 12.5 unit so as we have drawn the previous circle so we don't need to dimension it again now go to features now it should boss now it should boss it to uh, through a uh, mid plane 50 unit okay mid plane 50 unit now press okay so this issue portion has been again select the right plane here because we need to again cut a issue cut of 12 unit distance so i'm selecting the center line tool from it and from this center line okay draw a center line here so we have drawn a center line now select 
this uh, offset entities now select this line we need to offset along this line and the total distance is 12 minutes so 12 divided by, divided by 2 so it will be 6 in it make sure to select bidirectional cap int and line now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now stuck cut now stuck cut it to through all both so we'll going to stuck cut it to uh, through all both now press ok so our stuck cut portion has been done now we need to draw a stuck cut circle here okay for that i'm again going to select the top plane here now right click on it now sketch the normal to it in the same way uh, i'm going to select the circle tool from here and place this circle to the uh, previous circle or, or center line center point now press ok now select this my dimension tool and dimension this circle to 18 units so dimension this circle to 18 units so diameter is 18 unit now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now stud cut now is to cut it through is to cut it to through all both okay so we are going to is to cut it to through all both now press ok so our is to cut this portion has been done in the same way we are going to draw a is to cut rectangle here for that i am selecting this face now right click on it now sketch then normal to it now select the uh, corner rectangle from here and place in the corner rectangle here and draw a corner rectangle and after drawing this corner, corner rectangle select the smart dimension tool from here and this vertical distance okay it has a vertical distance of six units so dimension into six unit and this horizontal distance it has a horizontal uh, distance of 25 units so dimension it to 25 units okay now this time uh, we can see uh, from this line to this line it has a distance of 12 units so we are going to distance it 12 minute dimension now we have a same kind of things in this upper portion also so for that we are going to use the mirror features for that i am selecting a center line and drawing a center line uh, from which we are going to mirror okay so our center line has been drawn here now select the mirror entities from sketch and entities to mirror we want to mirror this all four lines okay and mirror about we want to mirror about this line now press ok now i submit it for a better view now go to features and then is to cut and now is to cut it to through all both okay we are going to select is to cut it to through all both and now press ok so the, our this portion also has been done now this time i am selecting the right plane because we need to draw a circular stud boss here so i am selecting the right plane here now right click on it now sketch then normal to it then i am going to select the circle tool from here and uh, placing this circle to the uh, previous circle origin okay and this uh, this circle has a dimension of 30 diameter so i am going to dimension it to 30 diameter okay so dimension it to 30 diameter now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now stood boss and this time the stood boss will be 62 unit okay so now dimension it to 62 unit and from the mid plane so 62 unit from the mid plane now press okay so this portion has been done now we need to draw a to cut circle portion okay for that i'm again selecting the right plane from here now right click on it now sketch then normal to it and then uh, select the circle tool from here and press the circle to the uh, previous circle origin and this draw a circle and now select the smart dimensional tool from here and select this circle and dimension this circle to 14 diameter okay so 14 diameter now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and now is to cut and select is to cut to through all both so i'm so selecting is to cut it to through all both now press ok then again uh, we need to another is to rectangular cut portion in this top face okay for that i'm selecting this top face now right click on it now sketch the normal to it and then i'm going to select the uh, center line tool from here okay and drawing a center line along this way so drawing a particular center line along this way and now select the option it is and it has a total uh, is to cut of 26 units so our offset will be 26 divided by 2 so it will be 13 unit make sure to select bidirectional cap in and line now press ok now i submit it for a better view now go to features and is to cut and now is to cut it to through all both so i am going to is to cut it to through all both now press ok so this portion has been done so as you can see we have done our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and 
Keep learning. Be different.